Jenny. There is an old saying, An Heng Il Chi, which is a Chinese character, means constancy of speech and action, or action as one speaks. Mm -hmm. Today, I'd like to talk about three people that define what is An Heng Il Chi through their, through their life. The first person is Mohammed Gandhi, and the second person is Mother Teresa, and uh, both are world famous. The third person name is Tae Jung Kim, who is president of South Korea from 1998 to 2003. According to Joseph Blaber in his book, Great Soul, Gandhi was born in on October 2nd, 1869 in Port Bandar, India. Gandhi studied law and came to Agarbi for Indian rights both at home and in South Africa. He became he become a leader of India's independence movement by organizing boycotts against British institutions in peaceful forms of civil disobedience. He was given the holy name Muhammad. He was killed by, fanatic in, by a fanatic in 1948. Even after his death, Gandhi commended, commended, commit, commitment to nonviolence violence and his beliefs in simple living such as making his own clothes, eating vegetarian diet, using fast using fast for self-purification as well as means of protest. He speeches at prayer meeting on 4th of January in 1948 when India and Pakistan had been embroiled a long-standing dispute over Kashmir, where is the borderline between these two countries. He was very empiric on, on the importance of the peace. Let me give you some information about Mother Teresa. The, in the book, Mother Teresa, Mother Teresa was born Agnes Goya Buyaj, speaker, Macedonia, on August 26, 1910. Her family was the Urbanian descent. At the age of 12, she felt strong call of God. She knew she had to be a missionary to spread the love of Christ. She knew she had to, she was not afraid to tell American pro-choice President Bill Clinton at the prayer breakfast meeting attended by many in 1994 that she was against abortion. That may not seem to be time to call abortion. Mother by mother herself. Instead of arguing with her host, she took the advantage of the opportunity to speak her true feeling to the people who she thinks need convince, convincing the most. My third person is Tae Jun Kim. Can you believe a prisoner who received a death sentence later become a president? I know it's unbelievable, but he he became the president of South Korea. He became a prisoner because he against the, the uh, dictatorship. South Korea during the 70s and 80s before he was elected. He was the big leader of democracy movement in South Korea. And after he became a president, he tried to talk many times with the uh, North Korean leader named Kim Jong-il in with many peaceful ways and they, they succeed a lot. President Tae Jun Kim received um, Nobel Prize to, in 2000. 
He was also against the death penalty all of his whole life time. Mark Furman asked in the book Death and Justice the question are innocent people being cool. executed? Are death penalty cases being investigated and tried as if someone's life depended on it? These are the same questions President Kim had. There was a speech two months before he passed away. He insisted that if you don't act on what you think, it is the same as selling your conscience to evil. Mm. Mohammed Gandhi, Mother Teresa, and President Tejun Kim inspired me not only with their words, but also their life example. We, we may not be become famous like them because they dedicate their whole life for what they truly believe. They follow the little voice from their heart. How many times do we ignore or com compromise with what we think is wrong? I'd like to finish my speech by saying this. Actions speak louder than words. Mm. 